Hey, Mike with Rove Pest Control here. And today's video is all about turning negatives into positives and some different tips you can use to pest proof your home during the winter. So stay tuned. Now, there's a lot of different benefits that come from sealing cracks and crevices and entry points to your home. We basically call it exclusion. And it's one of the best ways to actually pest proof your home during the winter months and year round. Now, there's some common entry points that pests tend to get into. And a principle to really keep in mind is that unless pests are already in your home, the only way you're gonna have pest issues in your home is if the pests are coming in from the outside. So again, it's very important to seal these entry points, cracks and crevices, various things like that around your home. And some of the most common ones are entry points like under your doors, so small gaps under your doors, gaps in windows, broken screens, uh, vents like from exhaust fans or dryer vents that don't have seals on them, you know, cracks in the foundation, among other things, are some of the most common ones you're gonna run into uh, when trying to seal cracks and crevices and entry points in your home. Now, pests can get in all kinds of different places from the smallest gaps as well, where, you know, most pests like spiders or other insects can get into your home with gaps as little of an eighth of an inch. And then bigger pests like rodents and mice Again, they can get in in gaps that are as little as a fourth of an inch space as well. So there's a lot of different opportunities for pests to get in your home. So again, one of the main focuses that you want to hone in on is exclusion, like I said, sealing those entry points. Now again, that can be very tedious, very time consuming. So often we recommend reaching out to a pest control service to help you with that. But again, if you wanna seal those common ones, some of the main things that you can do, for example, are installing door sweeps under doors, weather stripping in windows, making sure your screens are intact, and then also on excess vents around your home, making sure that they either have a screened in cover or a cover that covers them when they're not in use can go a long way to help you reducing pest issues in your home. But one other thing that you can do to find entry points is using the elements to your advantage. So there's a couple ways to do that. One way is by using light that enters your home to find different entry points that pests could potentially be getting in. Now this typically works better in basements in your home uh, where there's not a lot of window activity and light coming in that way. So what you wanna do is basically seal off or at least cover up main sources of light. So turn off all the lights, again, cover up windows if you can, and then look for any entry points that light is coming in. Because again, if light can get in, typically pests can get in as well. Like I said, the smallest of gaps can let pests in to your home. So sealing off those entry points that you find with this light coming in process uh, can be a great way to find entry points and pest proof your home. Another thing that you can do, uh, that's kind of what this post is about as well, is use using negatives as positives or basically those negative temperatures and colder weather that you experience during the winter months as a way to find entry points for pests. So again, whether that's in the basement or other parts of your home, if you're finding areas that have cold spots, you, know, you go along the walls searching for cracks and crevices. If there's cold points in your home, more often than not, that means there's some kind of opening where that cold air is getting in. So if you can seal that off uh, from the outside, it's a great way to find potential entry points for pests. And again, when you seal those, it goes a long way to help pest proof your home. Now again, exclusion, if you could possibly do it 100%, sure it could eliminate almost all pest issues in your home, but there's a lot of them that you're gonna miss that are hard to find, it's tedious, it can be expensive. And again, there can be entry points like cracks in the foundation, which again, could be buried underground. So pests can still get in that way. There's not really a whole lot you can do to seal those in that sense. So exclusion is great, but it's not a 100% way to pest proof your home. So ideally, we also recommend setting up some type of treatment from a pest control service. Uh, also, it's great to do that year round, even in the winter months. A lot of times you might not see a lot of pest activity during the winter months, but that doesn't mean they're not there. So a lot of times they've gone into hibernation or they're focused on nesting and breeding and building their numbers. So if you have a pest control service, treat your home during the winter months, that can go a long way along with the exclusion that you're doing uh, to reduce pest numbers, 
it during the springtime and prevent potential issues when pests become more active in the springtime. So whether you're treating uh, in the winter, the spring, the summer, the fall, whatever the case is, we recommend setting up that service as well to further pest proof your home. But focusing on exclusion and using those elements of light and cold spots can go a long way to help you discover potential entry points and then seal those before they come an issue in your home. So again, hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And if you were looking to set up a pest control service, feel free to reach out to us over at rovepestcontrol.com. And then also, if you happen to be a first time customer, you can head to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information there to get $50 off your first service with us. So again, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.